बोल्ड मैन लर्निंग द बोल्ड मैन लर्निंग रूल नेम्ड इन द ऑनर ऑफ लुडविक बोल्ड मैन इज ए स्टोकैस्टिक लर्निंग अलगोरिदम विच इज डिराइव फ्रॉम द आइडिया इन स्टैटिस्टिकल मैकेनिक्स एज स्टेटेड ए न्यूरल नेटवर्क विच इज डिजाइन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ बोल्ड मैन लर्निंग रूल इज कॉल्ड बोल्ड मैन मशीन सो द बोल्ड मैन लर्निंग इज स्टोकैस्टिक विच इज नथिंग बट इट इज non deterministic learning algorithm so another important point to consider is in boltzmann learning the neurons constitute a recurrent structure which means there are feedbacks between the interconnected neurons and these neurons operate in a binary manner which means the neurons are either in the on state which is denoted by plus 1 or they are in the off state which is denoted by Minus one. Now, the Boltzmann machine is characterized by an energy function e, which is given by e is equal to minus one by two sigma iterated over j and sigma iterated over k w k j x k x j, where j is not equal to k, where this x j is the state of the neuron j and this x k. is the state of the neuron k and the wkj here is the synaptic weight which is connecting the neuron j to the neuron k so here j not equal to k means that none of the neurons in the machine has self feedback so now let us see how the boltzmann machine operates so the boltzmann machine operates by choosing a neuron at random and it then flips the state of the neuron k from a particular state xk to the state minus xk given at some temperature t with a probability given by p of xk to minus xk is equal to 1 by 1 plus exponent of minus delta ek by t so here delta ek is nothing but the change in energy that is delta ek is the change in the energy function of the machine resulting from the flip from the state xk to the state minus xk remember that the t here is not a physical temperature but it is a pseudo temperature so we already discussed about this t as a pseudo temperature while we were discussing about the stochastic model of a neuron so by applying this rule repeatedly the machine will now reach thermal equilibrium now coming to the boltzmann machine neurons the boltzmann machine neurons are partitioned into two functional groups those are visible group and the hidden group the neurons in the visible group provide an interface between the network and the environment whereas the hidden neurons always operate freely now again in the visible neurons there are again two modes of operations that is the first one is clamped condition and the second one is free running condition in clamped condition all the visible neurons are clamped down to a given state or a specific state and this state is determined by the environment coming to the free running condition the visible neurons are allowed to operate free but if you see in the hidden group of neurons we do not have any clamped condition why because the neurons in the hidden layer do not take part in the output so they only run in the free running condition so that is they have only free running condition but they do not have any clamped condition so all the neurons in the hidden group are allowed to operate freely so now let us see how the weights are updated in the boltzmann learning now let us see the notations here rho kj plus denotes the correlation between the states of the neuron j and the neuron k with the network in the clamped condition and rho kj minus denotes the correlation between the states of the neuron j and k with the network in its free running condition here rho kj plus and rho kj minus can take the values of plus 1 and minus 1 that is they have the range in the values from minus 1 to plus 1 then according to the boltzmann learning rule delta wkj is equal to 
ईटा इंटू रो के जे प्लस माइनस रो के जे माइनस वेर जे इज नॉट इक्वल टू के एंड वी ऑलरेडी नो दट ईटा इज अ लर्निंग रेट पैरामीटर थैंक यू